Hello, it's Mama here. I'm so excited to share this revamp with you because I'm delighted with the way it turned out. I first saw this on Kelsey Simone a few weeks ago and off-the-shoulder tops are usually very clean cut, so the weathered look was a brilliant twist and this is so so easy to make. You'll need a ribbed turtleneck for this, I just pulled one from my closet that I wasn't wearing enough. And in case you're wondering what on earth ribbed knits are because ribs are, you know, bones, right? It basically looks like this with alternating rows of knit and pearl stitches. So there's your fun fact of the day. Anywho, subscribe for more videos like this and stay tuned until the end for outfits featuring the final piece. I created raw edges by snipping off the top, the sleeves, and the bottom. I also separated the neckband, leaving one inch of fabric around it. To tighten the shoulder, I took in the excess fabric by creating a 1 inch dart. I'm using the finished garment to demonstrate this because I lost the original footage, but notice that I'm taking fabric only from the bodice because the sleeves already fit me perfectly. Taper the dart into the seam as seamlessly as possible. I'm doing this by pinning the tip of the dart to the seam, and if there's any excess fabric, just stretch the second layer as you sew. I'm going to sew right over the original seam. I had to redo this a few times to get it right, but here is the finished dart. I trimmed it down, and now I'm going to finish it with a zigzag stitch. To secure the fabric, I added a zigzag stitch 1 inch below the raw edge. This has a dual purpose to prevent the distressing from going any further and to keep the fabric from stretching over time. Because of the knit fabric, it's best to go slow for a clean finish. Now it's time for the fun part. I stretched out all of the raw edges to initiate the disruption process. Then I went in with a sharp object and began pulling out the threads at random. It might be tricky to grab them at first, but it gets easier afterwards. I tapered this into a V-shape and finished it with a little tug. If you don't have a seam ripper, there are other tools you can use. One option is a pin or needle. It was a bit harder to use this because of the fine point. At times, it was more like I was just making holes and stretching them out versus actually pulling out the threads, so this created more of a fluffy look. Here is a comparison against the seam ripper. You can also use a trusty tweezer to pull out the threads and this is actually my favorite out of the three. I'm able to cover more surface area and I was able to pull out individual threads with a pointy end. Here is the comparison against the seam ripper. I continued this process on all raw edges of the shirt and choker from the neckline to the bottom to the sleeves. I also varied the design by creating large hose in some places and smaller hose in others. Once that's all done, I went in and pulled out some of the areas to enlarge them even more. It becomes much easier now that all of the raw edges have some sort of distress to them. And that is basically it. Easy peasy. Since the shirt pretty much speaks for itself, it doesn't need much. I think the bell bottoms will look great with it, but unfortunately I didn't have a high waist to pair, so I settled for some skinny jeans. For a darker feel, I paired the top with my favorite pair of distressed shorts and replaced the choker. This oversized flannel also makes a great cover-up for chilly weather. Lastly, I switched out the shorts for a modest skirt and kept everything else the same. The flow of the skirt instantly adds a feminine touch. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!